Hi everybody, this is Gabe with Harvest Plugins and today I'm very excited to announce the fact that we have a new product out named Forager. So Forager is basically a new way of writing chord progressions that has nothing to do. And here we go, here's Forager. So the first step in the workflow in Forager is to choose a note pool. 90% of the time what I'm using is just a drop down scale. So let's just, for the sake of demonstration, use C major because everybody knows C major. And so you can see the first two things happened when I selected C major. Uh, all the white keys in the keyboard turned blue to represent C major. And there's a list of chords that appeared to the right. This is every chord in our library that uses only white keys. So if you were to take away one note from the note pool, like let's just say we take away the E, you can see the list just got shorter. Why? Because it's only looking at chords that contain these blue notes. So any chord that has an E that's in C major is no longer on this list because we've just excluded it from the list. So you can actually click on these chords to audition them and hear how they sound. Then once you have your chord list, all you need to do is press this randomize button. Now what's happened now is that this grid, this four x four grid was just randomly populated with chords off this list. So now we've just put a bunch of these potential uh, compatible chords next to each other and what I'm gonna do is just play them and see if I can make any good sounds okay so I've just played through these chords and I actually did find some that sound that could be interesting together uh, I'm talking about these that that little progression right there so let me right click those and you'll see when I right click them they become blue what this means is that whenever I click randomize, everything else that's not blue is going to become randomized like normal. But the ones that are blue, they're locked in place. And that's because I actually don't want those to change because I want to keep using them. And so let's, let's hear what they sound like in context with some drums. I like what I got so far. So if I wanted to keep exploring chords, all I need to do is hit this randomize button and I can keep looking around and seeing what else comes up. And I think the only thing that I wanna keep from that randomization was just the C major seven. So I've right clicked that too, so that's not going anywhere. Uh, and let's, let's hear if we can do anything with that. So you can see I'm already starting to form a chord progression using some of the more interesting chords. I'm already using a D7 sus4 and a G6 add 9. Another option is to actually specifically drag chords from your list into your grid. Now that I have a couple chords that are working together in a pleasing way, I can start to add chords that might be a little more outside the scale just to spice things up a little bit. There's multiple ways to do this in Forger and the first way I'm gonna show is the loose matches. So what happens when I put the loose match to one? Forger's still looking at the C major scale, but now because I've set loose matches to one, Forger is now allowed to look at chords that have one note outside of that scale. Forager is giving you chords that are mostly based in the C major scale, but with one degree outside of it. And that means that they're gonna sound a little bit challenging, but still within the realm of C major because it has mostly C major notes. So now that I've hit randomize, I've found this D11 chord, which I think sounds kind of cool after this A minor. So let's hear that in context. That D has a really strong dominant feel and adds a lot of flavor to my chord progression. And what's key about this is that I would never have thought to put a D11 after those chords. So this is a chord that Forager basically proposed to me and I determined that I wanted it in my chord progression. So you can see some of these other chords I got with the loose matches set to one. I got this F13. And now you can see some other patterns start to form. Let's, let's listen to this one. Again, another chord progression I would have never come up with on my own. I would have most likely stuck to the diatonic, to stuck to the C major, and just because that's what I know and that's where I feel comfortable. So let's turn the loose matches back down to zero 
And now I want to cover another feature called require note. So let's say we're in C major again. These are all our white note chords. If I right click the C, you can see it's become, it has this border around it. What Forger is now doing is it's telling the chord list, you must include a C. That means every chord here has a C in it somewhere. If you were to right click the A, now we have a list of chords in C major that contain A, they must contain A. If we do A and C, now our list is shorter because what's, what Forger is now doing is saying to the list, you have to be in C major, all these blue notes are still in play, you have to be in C major, but there has to contain an A and there has to contain a C. And you can see there's a shorter list, but all these chords here do contain A and C, and then some of the other blue notes. Now, obviously, you, the more you go with this, the more limited you're gonna be. Let's say you're writing a melody and you want a chord that fits that melody perfectly. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the note in the melody is in your chord progression. So if you have a, a melody with a B in it, you're gonna to wanna to just choose chords with B in it. Now, you can see I've right clicked this A sharp here. What that has done is increase the note pool to an eight sharp and it also requiring A sharp. All of these chords are gonna be outside of the scale by one degree, by one note, which is that A sharp, but then also similarly in the scale because of they're mostly white notes in these chords. All right, so I've hit randomize and I'm gonna see if any of these chords sound interesting with my chord, my existing chord progression. I think this A sharp major seven sounded great. And if I wanted to keep going, I could totally keep going. It's like, let's say I want, I want the F sharp and the C. And now I'm getting limited options, a lot of D chords here. This is great for these advanced composers who know what they want, they know what they're looking for. It's also great for the intermediate composer who knows that they want to go outside of the scale a little bit, but not too much, too far from left field. So this is a great tool for me. It's been helping my chord progressions, exploring, venturing out into outside of the diatonic world, into these sort of more jazzy places. We have undo and we have redo. Those are great to have. And then we also have exclusion. So if you don't want to see any C chords, you know, you're sick of the C chords, you could just put C and like, you don't want Fs either. Forget the Cs and the Fs. You just want everything else to be randomized into your list. Totally an option. And then you can also exclude chord types, 13 flat nine, uh, you know, seven flat five, if they're a little too spicy, then you could get rid of them and they won't be included in your list and then they won't be included in your grid and then you won't have to deal with them. So I think if you're watching this far, you can already see how much potential this tool has for you, whether you're a beginner and you just need help putting basic chord progressions together or you're an intermediate and you need help kind of venturing out, out of your scale, or you just wanna be incorporating more jazzy chords. Or if you're an advanced person, you can see requiring notes, loose matches, going really far out there and really trying to explore. I think this tool is great for users of all levels. And this has been Gabe with Forager and I really appreciate you getting this far in the video. This product has been a long time in the works and we're gonna continue adding to it. If you have any interest in it at all, check out the website. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.